Hi folks, Dom here from Essential RC. Um, the guys at AccuRC contacted me and uh, I was aware of AccuRC. I think it's known mainly as uh, an RC heli sim. So, uh, but recently, well, relatively recently, they've started adding uh, RC fixed wing planes and jets to it and also i just had a quick look and it also has also got rc cars so i thought i'd uh, do a quick live stream and uh, explore what it can do so thanks for tuning in if you if you are watching let's um get a few things out of the way and get into it so um This is a, an extra 330 and I've already noticed that my rudder is reversed. <laughs> it's always good to spot these things. So let's go home and blah, blah, blah. settings. Oh, transmitter and plane and reverse that. Hopefully that'll do it. Yes. Is that right? But it's t oh, that's weird. The rudder's going one way, but it's turning the other. All right, let's. Uh, change that back right so I've got my chat <clears throat> so let's have a quick play so this is an extra 330 have a quick zoom around in this oops need to press straight away So I hope you're all having a good weekend. If you're into RC that you've uh, not had any crashes like I did today. So the thing about this sim that struck me was that it's 50 pounds, 50 compared to other sims out there that I won't mention that are a heck of a lot more. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you on the sound, Inertia RC. But what they did say is that it's, it's in development. So I would expect them to expect that to, them to fix that as uh, the rudder. Graphically, it's going the wrong way, but my inputs are having the right effect. So I, I crashed my uh, my thrust vectored free wing Gripen again. I have crashed it several times. It's uh, it's only got a crack in the bottom. It's not that bad, actually. It will fly again. But it's too underpowered for thrust vectoring. <laughs> it shouldn't have survived that tail touch, should it, really? Right, can I hover? No, it's a bit too sensitive for hovering. Oh, there you go. Right, should we see you let's land and see what other aircraft are in here? It's the with that Gripen, I got it into high alpha, and as soon as you've got it into high alpha, you virtually lose all control. Um because there are there's no 
airflow over the control surfaces and then it just goes where it wants and once it falls out of that falls out of it you don't have enough power to punch out of it so it uh, it just had a hard landing right let's uh, choose something else so these are the uh, planes oh no hold on planes these are the planes so you've got an addiction so a couple of high wing trainers electric and ic version sebar angel at6 texan a warbird aerobatic models like the laser the slick give the slick a go adrian says alrighty <laughs> Easier to hover. Let Jan, I hear you. Let me, uh, I will show you the sceneries in a minute. Just let me, uh, throw this around a little bit easier than the extra 330 I was just flying that's for sure okay so let's land and uh, sceneries online da, 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 system settings scenery so these are your different sceneries oh Photo, free roam, racetracks, close. Uh, 3D champs, a raceway, airfield, hangar. I think that's where I am at the moment. Bewley City, you've got some versions of these that are at night. Should we try on the island? What they did stress was that they, it, what they focused on is the the flight characteristics the flight model let's put it that way they pride themselves on that above every everything else if you look at the website they say they they state that it's the most realistic in terms of the flight model Oh look, I'm on the beach. It's not a photo of you, is it? I'd agree. The gravity seems... Seems right. Obviously it's no crash. No wings falling off or anything like that. They haven't worried about doing that. No. So you can fly through the objects. So let's let's go to another wide open scenery. Well, interesting question, Gareth. How does it compare to Arvis Sim? All right, how about stall? So graphic, well, photo realistically, this is good. Um, the thing about real flight in the majority is that it, all the, most of the planes are real uh, horizon hobby planes, aren't they? Their focus of that sim is the products, whereas this isn't. I think that's an important distinction so you're saying about stall all right let's uh, first thing i have to do is trim out for level flight let's uh, do that first so hands off it's full it's can i trim out hmm. 
all right so I don't think the trip I'm using the uh, the real flight interlink DX controller to control this so I will come down the field and I will progressively pull in elevator to induce a stall so half throttle off I'm off the throttle pulling in a bit of elevator to keep it level flight and that was the stall so I try that the other way a bit closer so it drops a wing which is what you'd expect isn't it so again we're coming round off the throttle pulling back on the elevator hmm Previously it tipped a wing. It didn't do that that time. Coming back. Mm, it was best the first time, I thought. Should we try a different scenery? Uh, how about here? Sceneries, oh no, it's loaded quite quick. Try a different aircraft. Try. Let's try the Angel. Rudder's not working too well on this one. Nice edge all day long. So that's the Sebar Angel. Let's try something else. It loses the filter, doesn't work properly. Um, blah, 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 blah. Should we try the Mustang? Uh, I'll tell you the truth, I don't know if I've got... Oh, it's off. Oh, and we've got smoke. Engine smoke. We'll do jet next. I don't know how you... How you do landing gear. <laughs> Let's hope they've got a jet sound for the F-16. Glide, Jan's asking if there are any gliders. Good question. Good grief, it doesn't slow down. <laughs> slow down! Let's try a jet, then. F-16 and I'll do that what does workbench do jet virtual error. 
hmm, you can change the servos that are on the different control on the different channels by the looks of it. What I want is ah uh, retracts. Use keyboard for retracts. What key though? Keyboard control. Whoops. Is it G? Keyboard control must be turned off for channel point. Oh, please. Oh, Adrian. Is, is that... I've only just tweaked. So is that Adrian... At QRC, Adrian. I'm just trying to figure out how to do retracts. Let's go back to um, transmitter. Uh, let's close this. Let's go back here. Transmitter. It doesn't have gear here. It's got the primary channels, but it doesn't have one for landing gear. Just trying one of my switches, but it doesn't seem to be picking it up. Oh well, I'll have to fly with landing gear down. Shortcuts. Landing gear up, down, G. Ah! Right. All right. So models. Where's the landing gear? Workbench. Virtual TX. I've done that. All right. So it should be G now. Fly. Let's hope this works. So I think we've established already that the sound is a work. <laughs> sound needs a little bit work. Maybe it is. Maybe it is a nitro ducted fan. Okay, as Adrian said, and uh, what I didn't realise that Adrian who's on the chat is actually uh, one of the AccuRC team. So if you've got questions, he would probably be able to better answer them than I can. Well, definitely would be able to. So bear in mind, this is uh, an alpha, as he said. But the uh, my understanding is AccuRC has mainly been a heli-sim all this time.
so the final I think Adrian I said to ask Adrian when is the final version of this first release with all the aircraft going to be out and he said when it's when it's ready basically <coughs> So I think what we're showing here is that there is going to be another RC aircraft sim on the market for fixed wing and jets. It just so happens that if you buy AccuRC now, that if you run it in alpha mode, I think, isn't that right, Adrian? Then you can fly these, these aircraft. But the final version will be out in the near future. Correct me if I'm wrong, Adrian. Enough F-16. Let's send that off into the sunset and choose something else. Why don't we try actually try a helicopter? Not that I'm a heli pilot. So this is an Apache. It does, doesn't it? Oh, that's good to hear, Gareth. another one thanks Adrian how do you know wind direction weather there's no wind at the moment but let's oh, okay but wind straight should we add some add 10 miles an hour wind direction i don't see a i don't see a wind sock or anything like that Although it's, there's one there, but it's just an image. Oh, whoops. Oh well, that was a quite an accurate representation of a crash by this one. What else we got? We got 3D type helis here. So, how about this one? Oh, it's naked. Why is that?
just in case I think it had it on beginner mode in terms of the controls. So I don't know what this will do. Thanks, Gareth, mate. So I'm in pro mode now. Anything could happen. Whoa! <laughs> See, this is what you need. If you want to learn to fly inverted, this is the way you do it. I think flying a heli. 3D is just so hard. I can't do it, I can't do it. It's like everything is reversed when you go inverted. What else have we got on planes? I should just stick to what I know. Spitfire Electric, Spitfire Super Glow. Should we try, uh, what's the Spitfire Mark Super glow. That sounds more like a glow spitfire. Next, try a bit of indoor flying. There was an indoor scenery. So let's go indoors. Ah. Oh, it doesn't let me select it. Why is it not letting me select it? That's weird. These others have names below them. This one doesn't. Oh, okay, sorry. I was being stupid. Oh, there are more, look. Sports Hall. Let me try a different plane. What would be best indoors? Probably the addiction. If anything, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> no, doesn't like that. Maybe it's just best for helis. Got micro helicopter. We've got loads of helicopters in here. The Bell two two two. Where was that? Uh, that one. Uh 
but I'm on beginner mode again. Always best. Could be me, but the head speed does seem a bit low, doesn't it? Maybe that's something I need to look into. Helicopters wise, I think this this looks kind of cool. taking the body off. So, let's go back outside. Private airfield. And what's we've got drones. We've got drones as well. Let's try something easy like a uh, and inspire hello <laughs> where is it gone right let's try something else then let's try an FPV drone uh, this one Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Have I done something to the uh, the throttle? Looks like I have, doesn't it? It won't let me move that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if I go back and select a helicopter, maybe the one I was playing with.
Well, I can do try a plane then. See if that's still working. Try something else like the E flight SU twenty nine. I know. Can you believe it? Five miles. I have got a bit tired of uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator doing that. I, I su suspect a lot of other people are being turned off that sim because of that stuttering. That's obviously a work in progress. Turbo Bushmaster. It's been going on for ages though, hasn't it? Do you not think? Five miles, it's been going for weeks. Obviously, they've just put in default sounds for some of these aircraft. And as Adrian said, it is a uh, oh collision with a tree. Since update. Yeah. So quite a few aircraft to choose from. I'll just choose one more. So this is only a short live stream just to choose, just to show, you know, that there's this other sim out there. Thanks, mate. And I think the fixed wing side of it is a work in progress. AccuRC has mainly been oops. Has mainly been a heli sim. And this is kind of a work in progress, the aircraft side of it, which you kind of get for free if you've bought it for heli flying. But they are working on it, and the final release version of it will be out in the near future, Adrian told me. When you say best, price is kind of a factor, isn't it? Depends how much you want to spend, I think, like anything. But this is $50, 50 pounds. And then if you're after some, you know, looking at uh, real flights is three or four times that. And Aerofly is even more expensive than that. So it depends how deep your pockets are, really. But the thing about a simulator is you will save a lot of money in the long run because particularly if you're learning to fly. Because you can just press the space bar and start again. Whereas with a real aircraft, once they're in the ground, that's it, game over, you go and buy a new one.
Oh yeah. I don't think I've got the transmitter set up quite right because it doesn't go, the engines don't go to idle. So I'm going to try one more. What haven't I tried? I haven't tried the pulse. Let's try that. But sims are always, it's the main thing with sims, teaches you muscle memory. You want to get to the point where you don't really want to be thinking about the stick inputs. Particularly when you're flying inverted. Because if you pull up, then you are, you are in the ground. <laughs> like that. One more. Uh, what did I start with? I started with that, but actually, the best one I've tried. This should be good. The MX. I'll try this finally. MXS. <laughs> wasn't it the laser laser was pretty good Yeah, this is easily the best flying model in here. Oh, it disappeared there. So there we go. So that's just a Kind of a quick look at AccuRC. This is the the fixed wing side of it is is very new and kind of a work in progress and included for free. If you put it into alpha mode, it, if you just install it, you won't get all this. So this is kind of an early preview of it, and they're coming out with it. They're coming out with um, the final version of this fixed wing side of it in the near future. But really, if you install and use AccuRC now it's mainly for for helis i tell you what i will do very quickly that i did see is in here and that's cars now call me mad <laughs> Just need to change the car. I think the throttle was reversed. You see how it's not going to zero. 
it's not like it's like it's not calibrated but I did do the calibration uh, so you can choose your scenery race tracks well should we just go for this figure that out for next time but I thought it'd be just interesting to show that and it does support multiplayer so we could potentially race with other people so I'll leave it there thanks very much for tuning in for this first look at QRC I've just literally installed it, so it was just a quick go. I think I need to do a bit of work to configure the transmitter, certainly to make sure I've got the full throw on the throttle. But um, there's quite a lot in here to play with, and lots of other things that I haven't even tried yet. So, um, workshops, so you can configure lots of different things about the different aircraft and carts and everything. Training mode for helis, this is all, looks, it's all very heli related different sceneries you can go online create your own sessions join in other sessions uh, yeah that looks to be about it it's all right thanks five miles all right thanks everybody that's it for this quick live stream looking at AccuRC 3 but thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Next live stream will be on Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock. More Microsoft Flight Simulator. Hopefully on a more stable. Hopefully they will have stabilised it. And we won't get any of the stuttering that we've had in recent days. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.